Algebraic laws like commutative, associative, and distributive laws also apply in set operations. The union and intersection of set A and B here can be expressed by A union B and A intersection B like this. By commutative law, they can be expressed as B union A and B intersection A. These relations are very similar to the algebraic laws A plus B equals B plus A and A times B equals B times A. When we're dealing with uh, three set A, B, and C, like uh, in these two Venn diagrams, the associative laws here also apply. The first diagram shows this operation, while the second diagram shows this operation. And lastly, we have the distributive law in algebraic operations like this. Look at this Venn diagram. It results from the set operations here. Using distributive law, the operations can be expressed like this. Similarly, we have another Venn diagram like this representing these operations. Again, using the distributive law, the operation can be expressed like this. Okay, the last thing that I would like to explain is the concept of cardinality in set. It is the number of elements in a particular set. When we have the following sets, for instance, then we can easily find the number of elements in each set. We express the cardinality like this. And u is the number of elements in u or the universal set. Since u has 10 elements, then we write nu equals 10. Likewise, we can determine the cardinality of a and b as follows. In order to find the cardinality of a specific set or a specific set operation, it is suggested that we find the formula of the cardinality of the bigger set. Make sure also that there is no double counting of each element of the sets. In our examples here, u, the universal set, is the biggest set among all. Formula of n u here is given by the summation of n of a unions b and its complement. Knowing the formula may help us find each term or its specific cardinality depending on what information available to us. Look at the illustration here. We could find the cardinality of the union complement by modifying the initial formula given information of both n u and n a unions b. Another big set in our example is the set of a unions b. From the Venn diagram, we can find the cardinality formula which is n a unions b equals to n a plus n b minus the intersection. Look. And A is 5, and B is 5, 2, and, and A intersection B is 2. So, and A unions B is 8. Depending on information available to us again, the formula may help us find each term or each specific cardinality. The smaller set we have, of course, are A and B. Just like before, it may help us find the cardinality if you're able to find the formula for an A or and B. Here, the formula for NA is this. And A equals to an A minus B, the blue area, plus an A intersection B. So, given the information, we have this result. Similar to the two sets case before, we may proceed the same procedures when we're dealing with three sets. Let's add the new set C with five elements also, so that NC is five, and as a consequence, the Venn diagram will look like this. Now, we have more than one intersection. There are three intersections between two sets, AB, AC, and BC, and one intersection involving all the three sets. We then can find the three most important formula. The first formula is regarding the cardinality formula for the biggest set 
and u, which is so similar to the formula before. Given some information, we may find the cardinality of the union complement like this, for instance, by modifying the formula. <clears throat> then another big set is the union of the three sets. By looking at the Venn diagram, we can determine the cardinality formula as follows. It's the summation of the cardinality of each set and A and B and NC, then subtracted with all the two set uh, intersections to avoid double counting. And at the end, we add the intersection of the three sets. Why adding the three sets intersection to our set union? Remember, when we add NA and B and NC, we count the end of the three sets intersections three times. But then, when we subtract the summation with the end of the three two sets intersection, the end of the three sets intersection that has been counted three times earlier is now cancelled out completely. In fact, in cardinality of the union, it must be counted once. That's why, after the addition and the subtraction, we add it at the end. From our illustration, if we complete the calculation, then we can easily find this result. The last formula that we can find from the fan diagram is the big set formula for an A and B or an C. The first term here is the orange area. Then the purple area, which includes the three sets intersection in the middle, as well as the blue area and the pale blue area consecutively. So, just like two sets model, depending on information available to us, we may use either formula or its combination from formula, formula 1 to formula 3 to find the, cardin the cardinality of a specific set or a specific set operations. Okay, so that's all from me. Uh, thank you for the attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.